Hello guys, Pradeep here. So today we are learning about integration of Arduino Flexi Capture with UI Path. As in our previous sessions, we had a we had a video of a session of RE Framework and Arduino Flexi Capture. You can go through that first, then watch this video. Okay. So basically, in the previous video, what we have is we trained some particular documents or PDF in Flexi David Studio, and then exported or verified in a product stay setup station so after that you will get a fc dot file so from that once you have a fc dot file what we do is we integrate the using that we'll integrate the within your path so the first thing you need to do is install the abi flexi capi flexi capture activity so this is it i'm going to show you once again so just you can just type UI path dot abi. So the first 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 one will be your uh, package. So you install it. So you get a list of activities to use. So you just type abi or flexi capture. So yeah, the first thing you need to drag and drop this flexi capture scope, and then you need to. So once you got the FCDAT file. So you need to use it as a define it here in doc the definition files. I'll show you where we define variable. So document array. So fc dot file. You can just if you have any other multiple um, files, you can just declare like this. And and you need to pass a sample input file within that, and you get an output of process a document flexi out as a fc document this is the one and you can use so once you declare you can see in my in our pre previous video we have created a block blocks is nothing but where we declare it. it's nothing but variable in a flexi capture so we have declared something like invoice invoice in flexi capture so we are passing a flexi uh, document of this i mean out, output of this to here, flexi out and passing of name. I mean, uh, we are literally uh, checking the name and giving giving the name and getting the output of the field. So uh, here is the result output. We are getting an invoice uh, data type and as a FC field. I'm sorry for that. And yeah, once we got that, we get a, we are getting the output as invoice here, and invoice as FC field. You can see the variable type. And if you want to see the output of that, you can just declare invoice dot value dot to string. So I'm getting using the same for another field to extract, which is that date. And you can also export all these documents from um, extracted fields to uh, Excel or CSV or XAML data. If you can, you can for that you can you have to use the export document. So you can see the document is flexi out where it is the output of, of process document activity. So I'm just passing it here and the name is equal to our trial. And the path where you need, need to download or uh, Excel, whatever the file format you are choosing here, it will be downloaded there. I mean, created there. So you can choose a CSV, XML, Excel as a JSON. So what I'm doing, I'm uh, selecting that and giving the name of the trial, I mean, document entire project and the path which i'm defining so once you once you are good with all this you just run the you just have to run the process and you will get it so i'm not running the process i don't have a flavor studio is in my system you can make use of this you can make use of this um demo file i'll be uploading in my uh, share drive you can make use of this so that's it guys uh, thank you so much um, and uh, you better watch the previous video without I mean, first and then you can watch thank you guys